just I like this set more than Return for limited purposes. I think it's way more fun limited than Return Ravnica was. Because there isn't a fucking pack rat in this set that you just can't get out from under. <laughs> well, you know how much I love pack rat. <laughs> Are we recording now? Yeah, we're recording. It's Stolen okay. Identity. Stolen Identity is good. I uh, like Stolen Identity. Far, still our best card, though. <laughs> Over Stolen Identity? Absolutely. I'm going to beat you with that card before you get to six mana. You think? Because I, I, I've lost to this card. I've lost to that card too, but I've lost to the Paladin way more. I guess it's an uncommon, so you see it more. But, I mean, I have beat Stolen Identities just by being like, you're not going to get to six mana. I do love me a True Fire Paladin. <laughs> hmm. I think it's True Fire, in order, True Fire Paladin, Stolen Identity, um, Slaughterhorn, uh, Black Removal Spell there, Prime Removal Spell. Ivy Street Denison. The Call of the Nightwing or the Psychic Strike? No, the Death Approach. That's the kind of black kind of rule. Oh, I didn't even see it. Um, I think it's Denison over Slaughterhorn. I, I disagree because if you're heavy green, you're going to play both. But if you're splashing green, the Slaughterhorn's way better. Well, then just be heavy green. <laughs> but you might not always be heavy green. I mean, I, th I think True Fire's our pick. Yeah. No, it's, it's Gutter Skulk. <laughs> it's a two drop. I mean, so our pick here is either Madcap Skills or Fire Elemental, right? And a Fire Elemental, so Cinder Elemental. Cinder Elemental. Do we want to be aggro or do we want to be kind of? I love me Madcap Skills. This on a um, oh, what's well, the artifact? Believe me, I love Madcap Skills. I'm not like I the uh when I first uh transport the, whatever it's called yeah the transport armor transport. Or, when I uh, first drafted, or did my first sealed, I had a madcap skills and a uh, the protection from creatures enchantment. Mm -hmm. And I played them both. I actually had two madcap skills, and I played all three. And people were like, that seems wrong. And I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> Have you read this card? <laughs> you know, I underrated I had a madcap skill in my first sealed, and I underrated it. Completely really oh. underrated it. Yeah. I uh, played something way worse than it to begin with, and then like, very first game I played, my opponent played Madcap Skills against me. It was just a jobber, and he beat me with it. The question is, do you take it over Cinder Elemental and Massive Raid? Definitely over Massive Raid. Um, I think it's more aggressive, and you need to be super aggressive in Boros now. Yeah. I think people I think... are... <laughs> uh, do you take the Skyjack or the Madcap Skills? First Skyjack better than second Madcap Skills. We need creatures. I agree. Um... The Darren Sky, I mean, Sky Jack's like one of the best two drop creatures too. Oh yeah, I mean, they, with the with the Madcap skills on it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and we already have a True Fire, so I mean, you know, we we got some good. That gives us two really good two drops to build around. What's your thoughts on Mark for the for Death? It's a okay twenty third at best. Yeah, I, I I don't even think it's bad. I completely, I tried it out because I was like, yeah, I don't know. If you really don't have any other twenty third card. Does the job of being a twenty third card that oh, you man. might play once or twice in a tournament? I don't know, man. But that eighteenth land. <laughs> if I'm playing aggressive deck, I don't want eighteen lands. Yeah, I know. Still. <laughs> so we take the madcap skills, right? <laughs> Glad we didn't take the uh, madcaps over true fire or skyjack. But I'm also glad that they're coming through. Uh, so I think people want us to be an aggressive red. <laughs> Apparently, <clears throat> maybe one of these Thunder Fists come back. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Thunder Fists in Boros. It's, it, I, it's too high of a drop. I don't like playing five drops in the deck. Well, I know, but um, still. I don't think you're going to like what I think is the best pick here. <laughs> you're not going to say the whip, are you? No. <laughs> okay. Here's resistance. I'm going to say the other artifact, though. The Gargo is fine. He's fine. Yeah. Okay. No, I play him. It's just I don't like playing him. He's a fine 20th through 23rd, I think. I, I think he's also more better in your... He's also a card you're bored in if you're not playing him, if your opponent has a lot of flyers. Yeah, that's true. Here's a card that I absolutely hate. Me too. Um, <laughs> I remember my opponent played three of these in my first like, sealed, and I'm just like, <laughs> you're playing three bad cards. I'm going to win this match. So we're taking the prism, right? And I did. Um, yeah. Just... It's not coming through anymore, though. Is it? Do you think it's the packs, or do you think we're getting cut? 
if there's nothing for us in our next pack, I say we're being cut. But right now, I would tend to lean toward pack, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Nova Horror. Yeah. The Nova Horror. Uh. Well, now we look at a splash. What do you want to splash into? Do you want to splash into? Eh, there's still red cards, so. Yeah, but it's a it's a pretty not very good red card. I know, but. But it's still we, red we card. We have a good splash in the black there, and we have a good splash in the green there. I would rather prepare for a splash than take a bad card that we're not going to play anyway. I play Thunderfist. Really? Yeah. It's... I still play Thunderfist. He's a 4 4, and he. Sometimes you just need a big body. It's just not coming through. Well, the Silica Guards is good. So. Immortals, you think? Yeah, the extorts are actually really good. Yeah, but I, I don't know if it was aggressive enough. I guess we're not playing on turn three most of the time, probably. Turn three, we're probably hopefully playing a Madcap skill. Because it blocks, it it does more damage. Yeah. For those, like, um, you know, turn seven plays that goes on for a long time, you play. I really do like playing Borzal, <clears throat> like splashing into some black, too. I think that's really good if you can do it. There's a death approach I'm going to take. Yeah, it's definitely in the pack. Yeah. Do we splash the execution or something, maybe? <laughs> I it's the best card, so we take it, but... Yeah, I don't like Mark for Death. What's the black guy there? Horror of the Dim. It's a 3-4. can do a Hexproof. Cool. Uh... Yeah. Hate the Hydra form? It's not even a card. I hate the verdict. I hate them. Yeah, I don't want to play it. Ooh, for a land. You know what? Take the land. If someone's stupid enough to play the whip, we're okay with that. Yeah. Oh no, 10 straight marker. That card's being hidden, by the way. So, start out good. What we should have done, we should have took the rare. Stolen Identity? Yeah. I really like how if you have a bunch of evasion, and you can't guarantee you're going to see the evasion. No one drafts the mirror. But... This is bad! <laughs> yeah. So, there's a third Mad Capscan. <laughs> how greedy is that? Uh, super greedy. How greedy are you feeling? Not that greedy. I'm going to take Massive Raid. Yeah, we need more creatures, I agree, the but... The Crypt is so good if we're going Borzov. If we're thinking about Borzov, the Crypt is so good. Or whatever it's called. Is Crypt Geist? Is that his name? I guess... Whoa. Alright. I guess that's better than... Maybe. I'm not a big fan of Massive Raid, because there's so many times, like, if you traded off some guys early, it's just not good late. Just like it's been very bad for me several times. It's like, oh, I'm paying three mana to do two damage. But that's kind of where you need to be in Boros. I don't mind Mass Afraid. So, okay, I'm going to take the. To me, it's the third gas. pick there. I'm going to take the gas just in case. Keep my options open. And then there's a Legionnaire, but uh, Eviction, the Holy Mantle. Huh. So, Legionnaire is amazing. Legion is our best. How many creatures do we got? A Holy Mantle, but an Eviction. How many creatures do we got? Foil Eviction. We don't have many. Seven. And one of them has... One of them is black. One of them is black, and one of them has Defender. Mm-hmm. I think it's a Legionnaire. Tons of black here. Or, like, good Orzhov. Do we still go Boros? I mean, there's a Holy Mantle. I would put it probably in order, because we do have some really good Boros there, like the Madcap skills and stuff, mm -hmm. the Legionnaire, the Eviction, the Holy Mantle, eviction. then the Extort Defender Dude. Oh, what do you put in order? Legionnaire, Holy Mantle? Legionnaire, Eviction, Holy Mantle, Extort Defender Dude. Mm -hmm. That would be my order. This card is so good. But yeah, I think we do need more creatures, and Legionnaire is the best common in the set, I think. Ooh, Hellraiser Goblin. 
over uh, that obligation? I don't know. I think not obligation is one of the best armed paladins. Yeah, but if we're trying to be aggressive, you could be right. Creature control, I mean, with... have haste, and attack each other. Yep. You don't always want to attack. Like Sometimes that card can just blow you out. You mean you want to be obligated to attack? <laughs> I like that obligation. He's really good with our mad capsules too, because he's like, I'm a five four that's attacking every turn and blocking. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Yeah, I agree with that. If you take the goblin here, I couldn't fault you though. Uh. Well, I mean, it could be time to to get into black again, right? With the shadow splice. With that card. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I'm glad we stayed Boros. Did we really just get our guild mage? We just got a guild mage. Yeah, and we also could have gotten a... Uh, Court Street Denison. Court Street Denison or the Marshal Glory, whatever it's called. Yeah, okay. Marshal Glory. Reverse Agony Warp. I really like the flavor of Marshal Glory. They just took Agony Warp and switched the, uh, the, the negative to the positive. Yeah. They, they multiplied everything by negative one. <laughs> So, I really like it. Well done, wizards. Oh, wow. So, Legionnaire? Yeah. Like, I like Emberbeak, but not nearly as much as Legionnaire. Right. I like 1,000 Lashes, and I like Boros Key Rune, but Legionnaire is... I don't like Boros Key Rune. I'm not a big fan. Another horror, but... What are they going to do? Balance our Mad Pip skills after it's done 12 damage to them? <laughs> What's the one at the top there I can't see from here? And Night's Watch. Night's Watch, that's boring, but I'm not as good as Marshall Glory, I don't think. No. I've been less and less impressed with Night's Watch. I will play Tyrion Thunder Fist over Night's Watch. Because originally I, I valued it pretty high because it's two more dudes. I guess it would depend on my deck. If I had, like, two massive raids in my deck, I would I would want the, uh, and a bunch of battalion guys, I'd want the two creatures. If I didn't have a bunch of battalion and didn't have the massive raids, I would want the Tyrant Thunderfist, I think. So Yeah, we think like that. Okay, we're not playing that. He's we're really good with Bomber Core. We'll take another Fifth Tower and Thunder Fist for our third. Whatever. Maybe we're just playing Tower and Thunder Fist dot deck. And oh, Gargoyle. Yeah. Maybe he's better than Skullcrack. Have you played Skullcrack? Yeah. Tried it. It was a. There's not enough life gain, I don't think. Like, I mean, if you're not. It's good against an extort deck, I guess. Like, if you can keep it from extorting a turn, but. Or from Gain Life of the Extort. Nothing of Boros came back. So I'm going to take the key rune. Which key rune is it? Or off. Yeah. Okay, so we do want to end up splashing something. He turns into a... 1-4. Uh, one four. One with lifelink. Yep, with lifelink. I'm just going to take the commando. So yeah. people don't even have the idea. Wow. Oil Marshal Glory came back. Uh, getting rid of that naturalize. For sure. So, uh, the other day I had a deck with two of the enchantments mm -hmm. that make one ones every turn. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? What's it called? Um, or, or Symbol of Legion? Symbol of Legion, yeah. I had a Symbol of Legion and Portrait Denison. That was fun. All this stuff, tap your dudes. I thought that was a white, whatever a white creature. Comes Mostly you can make white red creatures. Are oh, the white red? Yeah. Oh. Or I cheated. I don't know which. But I think they're white and red. I don't remember. I thought they were just red. I think they're white and red. I don't think I cheated. Hmm. It's possible. It's entirely possible I cheat. Oh. <laughs> it's such a good thing I'm a judge, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so no one can call me on it. <laughs> Remember that time when we uh, we read the rules wrong on thawing glaciers? And we thought we could get a land. No, we didn't read it wrong. They changed the rules in the new corset. Oh. 
Oh, that's right. So, Fire uh, Fist Striker is just incredible. Yep, you're really good. Uh... Even over Syndic, which I hope tables. If not, Scorchwalker might. And if not... I'm not a big fan of Scorchwalker. Oh, I love that card. I've never liked. I've, I've tried playing. I've never liked it. He's always won me games. To me, he to me he almost just reads as three mana target creature gets plus five. Target creature gets plus five plus one. You're doing like, it wrong then. I've, I've never wanted to play him as a creature. Uh, yeah, this guy wins his games outright, all the time. Oh. I love him. He's my homeboy. So act choosing. We still need some creatures. I would take the 5-4 here. 5-4. Yeah, prepare for maybe a little bit of a gruel, gruel splash. We took a couple other green cards, didn't we? No. Uh, we took another green card somewhere around here. No, we've taken black cards. I like active trees. Yeah, active trees. Good. I don't think we need a splash for a swine. I mean, it's good blood rush, but... It's fine do, too. 5 mana, 5-4. Yeah. Uh, Martial Glory. <laughs> I really need a third. No, I agree. So I'm thinking Guildgate. You over Smite? Yeah. Um, well, how much removal do I have? So, I'm going to hide the black for now. We're at 20 and 14 um, creatures. So you still have a black card up there. Did? The X creature swing. Oh, thank you. You don't have very much removal. I guess. It's just I hate playing Smite. Really? Yeah. I've always liked it. <laughs> There's another one. There's another extra tree then. Yeah. And then there's a dude. Yeah. I just don't like this pack. So I think it's the active treason for me. I think it's active treason. Because, like, yeah. Yeah, we have way too many 5 drops for a Boros deck right now. Ooh, an Ember Beast. That's good. Yep, I'm happy with Ember Beast there. So, we're going to take that. And then open, or get past an awesome 2 drop. Or Aurelia. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. <laughs> Shank Tail's good. I'm okay with that. Yep. I agree. True Fire Paladin. Not happening either. Not? No. Let's no, see. I don't think you're going to see an awesome two drop. We might see an okay two drop. We might see uh, the Blood Rush one. The Goblin Piker. No, oh, yeah, he's fine. We'll be okay with that. Yeah. Maybe table that. Uh... I'll see a Bomber Core. Yeah, I don't like Bomber Core that much. So, do we take the Shield of Passage? Why aren't you good, right, Gear? I wish you were. Because it's not a trusty machete. It's not plus two, plus one. Plus one, plus two. Yeah, that's it. Because it's not trusty machete. If it was trusty machete, it'd be fine. Uh, do we take the shield passage? Is there anything worth hating? Because we're not playing the shield passage, I don't think, are we? Well, it might be our... Twin I mean, we're probably hiding two of these on our vests. <laughs> so we may need the, the card. I mean that that one four is definitely worth hating because that that really is Boros's bitch. It's just like I'm gonna block your dudes, and eventually I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> There's not much you can do about it. You better have your your fire fist striker, or else you're not blocking or attacking. Man, it's like three people are playing Boros. So I'm going to hit the Naturalize. Naturalize? I, is Naturalize good in this format? Like, what are you waiting to Naturalize? It's good against me, because I have the two Madcap skills. Okay, yeah. And I don't care about anything else, like Spell Rupture? Oh no. Purse of Profane? Got me. Hmm. I guess take the Guild Gate here. For that green splash we decided against. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pick a table. No, I still don't splash it, I don't think. We're looking for a Scorchwalker. Alright, Night's Watch it is. Night's Watch is fine. We don't have enough Akai to make it really good, though. <laughs> We're playing the Tiger. 
We are not playing the tiger. We're playing the tiger. We are not playing the tiger. It's a four drop. It's a two three. Crappy. Read it, Robbie. It I says, have. It says gain two life. You I know. Can, you can't lose. <laughs> you can't Unless they lose. attack for three. <laughs> but they no. We have we have vigilance. <laughs> we have first strike. We have gain life. You cannot lose. <laughs> gain life. <laughs> Did you say gay life or gay lion? Yes. <laughs> so, my initial thoughts on this guy? Completely unplayable. He's my thoughts good. now? Good card. Yeah, if you have enough if you have enough evolve. Yeah. To make him work. I just I didn't expect that in, or understand the format to know that this was good. You know? Yeah, like I, I when I had that uh, when I had my uh, Stimic deck that I really liked in the draft, like, I felt bad I had, having passed him because, like, every time I saw him, I saw an Ivy Street Denison too, and I was like, well. So, this is 22. What's our curve look like? Do we have any four drops? Yeah. Um, four. Four drops. I keep forgetting he blood rushes for three and he calls four. Yeah. I keep thinking he's a three drop. Um... <sighs> We didn't get a single one drop that sucks. <sighs> what one drop did you want? Um, Royal Legionist? What was that? 1-1 one, one, Haste, Battalion, all your guys get first strike and trample? Yeah, that's so rare. I still wanted it. Yeah, and I wanted Goblin Guide. <laughs> Four of them. <laughs> Goblin Guide isn't in this format, Tim. My card's at least in the possible. <laughs> You know, I had a draft where our three rares we opened were two Rummer Belt Raiders and a Loyal Legionist. I'm telling you, it's the 2 3. <laughs> it's not the 2 3, it's clearly the 3 5. No, it's it's this or that. Yeah, it's the same yeah. card. Yeah. Except I don't need Italian to give this vigilance. What's our other white card? Uh, Shield Passage. Threaten all damage to our creatures turn or to target creature? Target creature. Yeah, that's gay. Um, we'll throw the You're artifact gay. there. We got a key rune and a whip. Yeah. And um, what's our red cards we're not playing? <laughs> Ten Street Market and another Thunder Fist. And it's above it. Wayland Phantom. Oh, that's not a red card. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could splash it. <laughs> okay, that's what we'll play. We'll just outplay our opponent. <laughs> Nine eight. Yeah, that'll happen. Sure. Oh. Our deck's actually pretty quick. We could just, like, get there on madcap skills. Uh, madcap skills on a, a two-drop, and we're, we're golden. Yeah, on a true fire, or even on our three-drop knight, like, next turn, because he flies. Definitely <laughs> playing first. Uh, this is keepable. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that hand. Alright, so you start with this, right? Yeah. Just another Boros draft, the <laughs> 500th on YouTube, right? Which is why I'm going to start doing the Friday Night Madness. Is that like a sanctioned thing by Wizards? No, it's just what I call it. Ooh, do we start with this now? Because it's one more damage? Yeah, and we can protect it next turn if he plays a guy with our uh, Martial Lord. So. I mean, if he doesn't play anything, it's real good. That's for you, good. Don't play dude. Don't do it. Don't you play dude. Good job. <laughs> That's pretty good too. So what do you want to play, your true fire or No, definitely true fire. Yeah. It's definitely not guild mage. Well the quick is it true fire or is it our other two drop over there? The fire and, striker? Yeah, because he if but, we draw no, no, no. one of our haste guys, he moves a blocker out of the way. I agree, but we can't count on that. And this is easier because of the first strike to yeah. get through. So I play this over that. I'm about to sneeze, I think. Oh, counter it. Counter it. No, I don't want you to counter it. Still, don't counter it. <laughs> you can't. I'll pay the zero. I'll pay the zero. See how I counter. Remove soul. Two mana. What could he have? He's just mad? Yeah, he's just mad. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, hate Boros. Did he say 
say something? No. No. Two two. See? I can act reason it. <laughs> it <may> come... <laughs> oh, it comes blocked. Three, four, five. Yeah, it's seven. string with team and we got you got Marshall Glory if you Yeah, so he blocks here, we marshal glory, give this plus three or plus oh plus three, get plus yeah. three plus oh. Okay. So he takes five and we kill dude. Seems good. Could just not block. I don't see that happening. I don't either, but it's possible. Marshall Glory. Yeah. Oh, oh, he suspects the Marshall Glory. <laughs> you have to block here. You save the three. Okay, that's just that's wrong. You should block here. You got to get my my card out of my hand. You know. Yeah, because now we're gonna have a freaking. Now he loses. Mm hmm Because we act a treason one of his dudes. We, we make another dude not able to block. I mean he could he could have um what's it called? Controller. No, Snipers. no, not that. That one though yeah, that is one of them. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking of. Um removal. Not removal for four mana. Oh, destroy how many middle cards you power? Yeah. Yeah. And that that's maybe why he waited, because then if I blood rush or martial glory, then it's like, ah, I gotcha, you know. So if that's his turn, I don't need a martial glory because it's just like, okay, I'll attack. Yeah. I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> he's thinking I am so screwed. Yeah, he's probably thinking unhappy thoughts. Yep. The opposite of Peter Pan. Think Shout out to Peter fly. Pan. Yeah. All right. He's definitely not attacking. Oh, I mean, he might as well. <laughs> definitely not blocking. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I think we just play that guy and swing team, and we can remove his blocker. And... Well, here's the thing. We play this, and he responds with... Um, Anything like a removal spell? We have to be aggressive. We are the aggressive deck. I agree. The longer this game goes on, the better it is for him. I agree. But by going to attack and attacking, and he responds by killing this, we can attack with both and then martial glory to kill this. Because I'm playing around his. I'm I'm pl thinking he has that four mana spell. That okay. has to be his play. So knowing that. I don't think it's right to play this. Would you agree? If that's what his play is, would you agree if that, that this is, is his, his play? play? But I'm not sure that's his play. His play might be look at my five drops. In that case, though, I play a guild mage and then next turn play this. Yeah. Or active treason is five drop. Yeah. So either way, I think it's correct to just attack. Because if he does nothing, well, then he takes seven. Interesting. Right now you're doing nothing. Which I'm perfectly fine with. See, you did that wrong. I would have done it here. What do you do? Destroy a target creature. And get a 3-3? Three, three? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure, we, we have like a, a frog lizard, right? Uh-huh. Who doesn't want frog lizards? Interesting. Exiling our dude. So he can block here. Yeah. Interesting play. So we have to marshal glory here, right? Yeah. I mean, he still takes five and we save our dude. That way we have a flyer next turn and a 3-3. Three, three. If he plays a 5-drop, we have an Act of Treason. We yeah. have... Or just any creature this turn. Or he just scoops. So yeah, playing Legionnaire there. How do you think that would have played him out? Let's see. He kills... He still kills the same guy, probably. Uh-huh. And then he still blocks the Skyjack. He's taking 5 still that turn. We're down a Skyjack. Have a 3-3, three, three, a Legionnaire. 
it's we're still it's, in in yeah. the we're still good, mm-hmm. but we lose a legionnaire out of that. I don't know. I think I think it was the right play. I think in the I think in the end it probably would have washed, but I think you're probably right. Okay. So, cyborg, <laughs> we have nothing. Super <laughs> patch is just nothing against this deck, so. Because essentially, we were uh, putting him on a way different removal spell. Right. And we weren't putting him on, like, that two card, like, trying to two for two us. Right. Still. Yeah. All right, I keep this hand. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like, my favorite hand in the world, but it's good. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, I would just like the Marshall Glory to be a creature right now. It's still a card. Yeah. Well, they're all cards. Yeah. Everything we're going to draw is going to be a card. Well, it's just, you know, or people a say... object, I'm sorry. People say, you know, like... I just read that article on Channel Fireball, and about it's really... About digital objects? No. Oh. Um, about mulliganing, mm-hmm. where... It's like, let's say you have a six-card hand and Nico Bullis... Right? Yeah. It's still a six card hand with Nico Bolas. So if you mulligan it, it's like a free mulligan because mm-hmm. Nico Bolas isn't there. Mm-hmm. You know? Because you can't play it until like turn seven. Yeah. But it's st- no, that's not abs- that's absolutely not true. Yeah. Because it's still it's a it's a hand with Nico Bolas. <laughs> Eventually you're gonna get to seven mana probably. You know? Yeah. And get to play it. That blew my mind. I'm serious. I was like, wow, I've never really thought of it that way. Anyway. So we play Land and Ember Beach. Yeah, I was thinking that, because it's not worth wasting yeah. Martial Glory this turn. Oops. <coughs> He'll probably have some kind of Cypher card and swing it. I'm guessing. If that's the case, that's the case. But if not, we're making a 1-1 uh, one, one and attacking with those, probably. Mm-hmm. Depending. Yeah. One one has haste, right? Yes, of course. But I feel like our deck is a little better than his, just based on what I've seen. Don't get too cocky yet. Not cocky, I'm just making an observation. He just tapped on both our dudes. Is he going to play the tap? Cypher guy? No. No, he's just in combat. (laughs) What is this? Most favorite for me, Mark. Wow. Okay. You've never seen him before? Nope. The Demir Guild leader? Nope. Dude, I've, I've never read the cards. So. So during Skyjack here, right? Well, no, I'm going to attack with both first. Yeah. But during Skyjack this turn, because we're not going to use. Right. Because he's probably thinking we're just offering the trade with the pump of the yeah, pump yeah. effect of the... I see. Play that and leave a Marshall Glory. Some people believe this is unblockable. It's not. I've definitely had a rogue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a black creature just randomly had a rogue. Yep. I was like, block? <laughs> <laughs> definitely had rogues before out too. What you got? What you got? That's pretty good. No, we're milling until we hit a land, huh? I want to draw a land. Eight cards. That would have been a good card to draw, but... What? Shank Tail. Yep. Are you making a copy of anything? Uh, I don't even give a bother. Not really. We're in a pretty good position right now. Mm-hmm. I agree. I can't... Oh, wait, nope. Wait on him. So can he make a copy of this as a first strike? Yeah, he, he's got to become a 3-1 first striker if he wanted to do it. I see. Did he? I don't know. Well, look at the card. He's, I'm waiting. Oh. <laughs> I would. I mean... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> nope. You making him a copy of that? Maybe he's going to... There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm snap blocking Marshall Glory. If he attacks. Yeah, which he's going to. I think he would. Why wouldn't he? If we might just attack with the rogue and leave the other guy back as a blocker, first strike's really good as a blocking mechanic against us too. Okay. Yeah. 
called it. All right, I'm going to hesitate here. Oh, we still drew a land. And shank tail. I'm, I'm just going to pause here so it's not as apparent that we have a trick. Yeah. We got two tricks. So. Yeah. So I'm going to play land so I can pump. Yeah. Hmm. So he can block here and block here. We save this. We can't save this, right? No, we can save one or the other. Right. So we can just push six damage, seven damage. Ah, still fine. Right? Yeah, depending on how you block. He might not he might smell the trick and just not block. In which case you can push across nine twelve damage. <laughs> or just actually wait. fourteen. Actually we could kill him if he doesn't block. Can we? Yeah. What's one black? Oh my that again? That card is not good. It's beating our face up. I know, because of this. Well, well, let's, let's see how he blocks. Yeah. We might just three for one him here if he blocks the. Interesting. Ew. That makes sense. So where'd he put where? There and there. But what do you put in front of him? I, I know the token. The spy. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So, with that case, so we pump. This has to die, right? Yeah, we need we to save this. Our, yeah. So we pump once mm -hmm. and get this plus O mm -hmm. and this plus three. Okay. Fair enough. He's still taking seven. And we're killing a creature. Kill two of his guys. Yeah, but this was more of just a removal spell, in yeah. my opinion. He's probably so pissed. Yeah. I really don't care because he's mad. I mean, we're not here to make friends with him. <laughs> so we can make one ones next turn. So what's the worst play for a stolen identity would be bad for us? Make a copy of his rogue attack like another copy of his rogue? Yeah, I'd probably make a mastermind. Oh, it's legendary. <gasps> yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. Yeah. But I hope he does. Well, I do too. I looked exactly what he does, but I don't <laughs> think it's going to be. Right. I don't think he'll play stolen identities either. I think that would just be too me. Well, you know what I mean, like, it would be... It has to be one of your creatures, right? Or can it be any creature? Any creature, just clone, I think. That card's really good. I like it. For limited. Alright, what you doing? Attacking for three, interesting. Not attacking with the rogue? That just seems so backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... The opposite of what I'm... Sure. Hey, fire. Okay, so... So we can make a 1-1 one, one and a play a true fire? We can make a 1-1 one, one and a... T can we attack with it? No, we cannot. We can't really attack. So I think we're just making a 1-1 one, one playing a true fire. Or playing a true fire making a 1-1 one, one on his turn. Correct. Yeah. Your turn. Can't remove all you is. He might. Kill this, and I might have to make a one, uh, one, one in response. What is his last card? But this is also good. This could be land in his hand too. Well, well. Oh, it's a good one. A. It's a good one. It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> but if it dies, it's oh man, watch out. What is it? It's a 1 4, right? How big is it? It's a 3 4. 3 4, you get hexproof? Yup. Okay, so we don't really care about him, do we? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Making a 1 1. What do I got? I got a prism. Oh, well, I guess we're drawing a card. Are we? 
why wouldn't we draw a card? Because if we don't, if we play land, we can make a 1-1 one, one and give a plus 1 plus 0. And is the attack going to be beneficiary yet? I think we need to get more... Let's see. So this dies. That's not good. So this doesn't attack. This doesn't attack because that doesn't do anything. Tag with both of these, what happens? And then the third one. It would be a third one if we did it. Mm -hmm. But attacking with both of these, maybe blocks here. Remember, he has a first striker, and our paladin doesn't have first strike yet. So our paladin can't attack if we do a creature and a pump. No, we wouldn't pump until we see blocks. So we could maybe trade here. That would be... That would be not very good. I think we're better off playing a prism, drawing a card, and then if we don't want to play the card, just making it do at the end of his turn and just yeah, making guys. I agree. I just wanted to go through with, you know, seeing mm -hmm. if it was right to attack first before we play the prism. So... Alright, let's draw a card. That's a good card to draw. I think I play that. Yeah, definitely play that. Get, so, get some extort dudes out there so when we draw spells, we can get them even further down. Yep. Yeah. Instead of playing 1 1. Alright. So, Madcap spells would be nice on that guy right now. Be okay. What do you want to draw a spell? Whispering Madness. <laughs> what? That, is that the, uh... Yeah. We each discard our hands and draw cards equal to the number of... Yeah. So, okay, we're discarding our hands and everyone's drawing one card? Yeah. So I just cycled a land there. And got a Thunderfoot. Thunder Fist. Thunder Fist, yeah. But I'm going to discard... Ooh, we could become a 4-4 four four now. Maybe he likes his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Oh, we got a land back. <laughs> <laughs> God, <it's> good. <laughs> okay. Oh, we made a Thunder Fist. Yeah. So if we get rid of the first strike, that's good for us. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I'm going to keep these. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I... Do I'm... we want to? Do we want him drawing more cards? Uh, I think we're thinking... cycling the land. No. I think I want to play it, because then I can make two 1-1s one a turn. Yeah. And we're fine just cycling a land, but it lets him draw two cards, too. It's the person with the most cards in their hand, so we don't want him drawing extra cards. How do we feel about attacking? I think if we make two dudes on his turn, and then we feel really good about attacking the next turn. Being able mm -hmm. to pump everything twice. Yeah, but we want to be really aggressive. So We don't have to be totally aggressive right now. But we can kill this. It's one card. Uh, I think next turn if we make the two three threes, we pretty much locked up a win. If we just be patient. Alright. Especially if we get another land, we can pump everything three times then with the freaking paladin. Give him a bit. Uh oh. Oh no, we're milling cards! He's trying to mill us out, man. How many cards are in our library? 19. Oh, I know. I mean, we're making two one ones a turn. Yeah. If anything. <laughs> hey, okay, we just build the planes, so. <laughs> yeah. Anything. Well, next turn, total we're swinging. Yeah. Eight to eleven. So next turn, we're swinging with. Everything but one, the... two, three, four, five, six creatures. So he can't attack this turn. Unless he's pretty confident he's going to draw. A good spell. We could be potentially swinging with eight creatures. If we make them all uh, two more one ones. Well, I think we're better off pumping. We're making two more one ones. He attacked. Oh, so yeah, we, we probably win now. So does he get to draw a card? Yeah. It's just windfall. <laughs> Madcap skills. Yeah, that's good. What do we put it on? Uh, Truth Fire, maybe? Hmm. That does oh, seem you know what we didn't good. do, Tim? What? We didn't make two one ones. You're right. I didn't. Not we didn't. 
I was just so excited about drawing. Damn it. Well, wait. We can... <sighs> what do we have here? Because we can play two spells at sport twice this turn. I'm just so bad sometimes. Well, we can play the two spells extort twice. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could put the math cap skills on that. That seems really good. Yeah, he has to double block. Strike. That would make it a five. So he has to double block. And then we can pump to give it seven, seven. And then pump to give it nine. Three. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Pump again. Like... He can three for one himself, even, if we can't do it all. So, I'm okay with, let's see, one, two, three. We can pump three times and play a mech. So we can't extort. Okay, that's fine. Because he has to do the block. Like... Yeah. Man, it'd be so much better if we had two one ones right now. Mm-hmm. With someone in it. <laughs> yeah, I I realize I'm awful at this game called Magic the Gathering. <gasps> oh, it didn't matter. He conceded. Yeah, he's just tired of it. What did you about? I don't know. <laughs> you just looked at that blue card that's been there the whole time. Yeah, well, that on Mad Cap skills. Still, still, he can pop. Okay, whatever. <laughs> One to draw, or one to die roll, we gotta play first. So this is snap keep. <laughs> uh, you gotta keep it. I don't like it, but you gotta keep it. I agree. Mm, can we get a better five? Yeah, I mean, right, right now we can't cast anything on our hand but a madcap skills and put it on there, dude. I don't like this hand at all. So, But I still keep it, I think. So you probably, need to repeat that again for the recording? <laughs> it probably is a, a mole. You're right. Yeah. Because, okay, say we get a hand with terrible cards. It's going to be terrible anyway. I keep it on a draw. No, I don't. I would because we, we just need a, we need to, we need to have two turns to draw two draw. I would keep it on the but draw. We're on already the behind if we, if we come, bleh, if we get behind it even further. No, I don't keep this on the draw either. Um, I think it's way riskier to keep it on the draw than it is on the play. Because if we draw our two drop and then madcap skills, we just win. But if we draw our two drop on the draw and then madcap skills, they have that turn ahead of us where they can play their four drop and or play their removal of four drop. So if we're on the play, we get in that 5 or 10 damage. Yeah. If we're on the draw, we get in maybe 5 damage and then 2 for 1 ourselves. And then we're really in bad shape. But we're still waiting on him. The point is we still mulligan. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. was the point. Yes, but you might time out. I didn't make that point. Well, he, he was there for a little bit, right? No, we have beat mulligan because we made the choice to play first. We made the mulligan. He hasn't done anything since. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna mull. So now we're just trying to grind time. We got four minutes. Oh, to two five drops, but I like it better. Yeah. Because if we draw a two drop, we can play it. Mull five two. Mull five as well. No, he's at upkeep. Oh. He kept his seven. <laughs> we're on the play, though, aren't we? Yeah. We kept at seven. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Must be nice. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, if we draw a two drop and then mat cap skills. That's enough to win a game. <laughs> it just sucks that we have two five drops. So it's like, some somebody might think, oh, you can mull this because it's like a free mulligan. Because it's like you're already at four. No. You have two five drops in your hand. I've never really thought that way, so I guess... Uh... The virtual mulligan? Yeah. Wrong two drop. <laughs> no, I thought that was a true five five. Like, why didn't you play it? <laughs> <laughs> I guess land's better than nothing. Well, I guess, you know, we can start swinging with dudes in two turns. Oh, he's stuck on two as well. <laughs> nah, I don't want to tell him I'm stuck yet. Yeah, because we, we're not showing stuck. We're just showing slow. Yep. <laughs> he's good. Oh. Well, 
Or four or four can eat it if you're going to the land. Hey. Yeah, true fire. I'm good. Yeah. You better on turn two. <laughs> <laughs> We've been pretty sweet. Be at what fourteen now? Um, we're gonna take the two. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, God is good. So yeah, I'm playing a four four. I'm playing up two, right? Yeah. Don't you love winning games on mobile fives? <laughs> Snap block. Right? No. No. He's got a No. He's got the trick. We'll take the damage and we can race him. Yeah. Next turn we can swing for six. We can't swing for a lethal yet, but So Vigilance, right? Vigilance. Why are we doing Oh yeah, yeah, vigilance, okay. Yeah. That was like And then two more two twos? Probably. Four, five, six. Yeah. And next turn probably a win. Another two martial clues. Or not martial clues, martial glories. Hey. <laughs> you chilling card premium? Mugging! Not good enough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, so how big is the slime? Two two. Yeah, so we get to do a swing team here and have the martial glories to make sure that we kill both of his guys and get in for ten. Twenty, yeah. I don't even think I need to do vigilance, so whatever. Yeah, he didn't do much. We got him. Got him good. Kill both of his dudes and ten, eleven, twelve. Nope. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you're right. If it doesn't block this, it's yeah. lethal. has to. He's going to. He's not. Why is that lethal? Because it's 6, 10. I uh, 12. Right. <laughs> Shut up! So yeah, looks just like our five drops won. <laughs> okay, so if he gets stuck on two, we can win on a moto five. No, shield passage is fine against mugging and cards like that. So, hmm, do you like it over Night's Watch because he's gruel and he probably. Or two twos probably won't be that good. Okay. He says after a night watch one of the game last time. <laughs> Coincidence. It wasn't the night's watch that won us the game. Having yeah, I mean, two more creatures out there putting the pressure was a big deal. I suppose, yeah, but just so as the easily. Shield passage, that game's not as. Well, I guess if that's a shield passage, we don't lose our true firepower, so the game's still going well for us. Yeah. <laughs> so, this hand is pretty good, right? If you draw. If you're on Mountain, we're, we're, we're in Lake Flynn, so I keep it, because we also always have game three. We are guaranteed a game three, so. That's not why I keep. It's a good hand. But it's also, I mean, it doesn't hurt to be guaranteed a game three. I don't know, it could be a one. <laughs> sure, bro. Card's pretty good, don't underestimate it. And guess what we drew? Yeah, I know you go on. We're going to turn, we're going true fire pilot next turn. Like, that card's better than you think it is, though, Tim. What you got? That's pretty good. What could he have for one mana? Can we not block that? No, we can't block it. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> that's why it's better than you think it is. <laughs> nah, that's still pretty bad. I'm getting in there. Yeah, he's gonna block and give first strike. Nope. Oh, no. Hey. Huh. 
I guess that's also technically a valid play. <laughs> but we have our, yeah, we have our preventable damage for yep. future, so. He attacks in, I'm taking it. Well, duh. Because our counter swing's bigger. Mm -hmm. It's almost certainly sleeping swing with the 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I see. Is that the Blood Rush Piper? Oh. Well, yeah, it's still fine. Um, so, I'm going to just attack with this. Yeah, I think that's probably the tactically sound play. What you going to do? What are you lock with? The 2-2. The two, two. So we give first strike then shield passage or what? We just shield passage because he has guy he can give his guy first strike. But what if he has mugging? It's sorcery. Oh it is, right. And we all have open martial food, saver guy. Or martial glory. Or we could have blood rushed. <laughs> Yeah, but I'd rather just have the creature in my hand. Oh, I agree. It could have even been correct to not attack, I think. No, I think we want to get his guy out of the way. So, um, he has a Blood Rush card. Yeah. But we have a Marshal's Glory. So, so we block here, right? The Marshal Glory? Yeah, well... But which, which creature do you want to block with? This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't want the true fire, it's great, but you don't know. Because what's he going to blood rush onto it? Plus two, plus four. So yeah, we're talking with a 5 4, and his guy's a. 4 5. 4 5, so. Yeah, so you're straight. So we 2 2. That's fine. Yeah, that got feels. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Sucks that we can't marshal glory to save it if you have mugging. So maybe it's a shank tail instead. Wait a turn. Well, there's no game able to do that next turn, and we still can't Marshall Glory to safely play shank tail. But I'm saying he may. I think if he had mugging, he would have used it though. So he could draw it, but there's always a couple that he draws mugging. This just uses our mana more efficient. I think Madcap skills is the better play though. I think we want to start getting in for five. Make him draw a mugging. Well, if we play Shanktail, that's really good. <laughs> okay. And then, I mean, Shanktail's really good too, yeah, because I mean, it gives us two good Madcap skills targets for next turn. I just like playing a dude that's really good, doesn't leave me open for two for one, and, you know, yeah, hopefully they'll draw a mountain, and we can play the madcap skills and protect our guys with the martial food. Right. Yeah. Martial glory. Martial glory. Why do I keep on playing martial food? Because that's a, an old card. Yeah, and it's a better card. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right. After much thought, he takes the two. <laughs> I feel okay about my position right now, but he still has five cards, star three. Mm, he's stuck. Massive. Okay. I see. Well. <laughs> Don't put our mass cap skills. I think it's the same debate. Um, Except we'll have the Marshall Glory backup. Backup. I think it's mass cap skills. Could be correct. The longer you wait to play the Madcap skills, the more and more chance we're giving him to draw a 2 for one out. Do we pump? No, we keep our Marshall Glory back up. <laughs> we're racing him 5 damage to 1 right now. We're winning. <laughs> yeah. Upkeep. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what can I do on my upkeep? Let's see. I 
can make him block. No. It's a pause for effect because he really needs that land. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, finally went to his main phase. And. He's making a 1 1. Pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> 1 1 concede. Yeah, because you can double block and then die up first strike. <laughs> Pretty good. Alright, we'll go on to the finals. All right, after declining the split, we're going to play first. Then yeah, we're going to keep that. <laughs> snap keep. <laughs> okay, I guess I wasn't a snap keep. Oh, most of five. Does he? Yeah. Most of four. Ooh, he's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> he's so mad. <laughs> I'm okay with him being mad. Yep. Because he even gave the frowny face. <laughs> I would like to draw a land so I can play Ember Beast and then a Legionnaire. Yeah. But I cannot really complain considering. You want the four? Yeah. You have two of those things? Yeah. Huh, I didn't know that. Things I didn't know about my deck. <laughs> Guess we'll pass. <laughs> Hopefully he will too. What is yeah, this? The multiple. <laughs> Guess he got all his lands. Wow. Guess we'll attack for two. <laughs> what is he playing? Four colors? Five colors? He's showing four at least. Good he thing we had that two land. drop. <laughs> yeah. If we don't draw a land, we're going to have to marshal glory here. Hey! We drew a two drop. <laughs> Alright. And nothing's happening. Ooh. Bad camp skills on our Ooh. skyjack? Ooh. Is it the skyjack? <laughs> six, seven, eight. Or five, six, seven, eight. Either way you do it. <laughs> no, no, you, no, no. It's going to be eight damage. Six, seven, eight. Five, six. But which is better? Probably this. So we put on the sky deck, right? Yeah. I agree. Get you for eight. And then this is lethal. Can you kill it? <laughs> it's four. It's four mana. Our cleric sacrifices a creature, I'll sack this one. <laughs> uh, 1,000 Lashes. That's a card. We have four this turn. Huh? We have four this turn. Four? Yeah, we play our Star Knight. Really? Yeah, absolutely. With two martial glories in hand, making him have to have two creatures he can block with next turn. No, I still think it's Ember Beast. Say so. It's got to be, because if he kills one of them, if he kills one of our dudes, then we still have the other dude left, and we still have two. And he's at two, and we have two more. We have an act of treason. We have an act of treason. Yeah, okay, whatever. So even if he plays like right now, the uh, three three that can block everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just scoop there. Please don't do that. Um, how do we feel about Tiger? <laughs> you know how I feel about Tiger. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't we see his deck as all. Land, well, three land at the end, but basically two land the entire yeah. way. Oh, like, he mulled a four. Well, there's our mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do have a four drop. It's a mulligan. Yeah. Uh, we keep this one. Yeah, we hooked Joe Mountain. On the draw, so we got a couple games of Joe Mountain. Yeah, but still. Mountain. <laughs> Big Mountain. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you know, he's, there's blue. <laughs> he's showing us all five colors. Mountain. <laughs> yes. Good job, Tim. Mad Cat Skills. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Cat Skills. <laughs> 
It just has all the prisms. You don't know what he's doing. We, we, right now we've seen one card outside of a land, right? We saw all of his splashes. Take two. A race in the shade. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll win that race. Yeah, because we probably won't play. What is he There's playing? Green. What is... He's oh. playing, yes, he's playing all of the cards. Oh, he's playing Burden Haven. Untap it with uh, that elf. Dot deck. The elf only untaps gates. Right. That's true. So, I don't know. Good thing we took that Burden Haven. So. Night Boy? Or not Night Boy, yeah. Uh, Skyrim here? Yeah. I like that play. Take four. Shut up. <laughs> okay, we're on attacks. I'm taking four? Train four for four? Oh, yeah, you're obviously attacking because you're not blocking with it. <laughs> if we draw a mountain, we potentially do six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put him at six, but I don't like that. Better play a three one. So he has green. So we play my guesses? Yeah, I think we have to here. Yeah. I mean, he could have some sort of removal, but we have to just go for it. Yeah, we can have him on the ropes. And then we just win with one of these. <sighs> Don't play a fire. <laughs> Don't play a fire. Even if he does, who cares? I want him to tap out. That's what I want him to do. Like, deal... Sure. Do a bunch of damage. I think we just swing and see what the trick is. He's got a trick. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, he's not dead this turn, so... But he would he would have pumped his guy more if he didn't have a trick. Hmm, true. One, two, three, four... Oh, he has the removal. Yeah, so let's just... Yeah. Probably the... You. He throws. Okay. Playing her back to my hand. And I'm playing Shank Tail, right? Yeah. Or? Am I playing the Gargoyle? We can't block the Gargoyle. But Shank Tail's more damage next turn. He'll probably swing into the Shank Tail. One, two, three, four. Yeah. We could... No, we can't win next turn. Maybe do a land. We could so we can swing for eight and put him at nine. Yeah. Maybe he'll man burn. Nope, that doesn't exist. <laughs> Somebody wanted to draw a smite to block that thing and just smite it. Yeah. So right now it seems he's all in on the shade plan. Six six, huh? Might want to block that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good card. What do we play here? That's a good question. Maybe play the Knight of Obligation. We can block. We can start doing some blocks, and we can start extorting and making things. Well. Hmm. If we play Knight. We're going to lose a Shank Tail to a block. What's his other card do? Play second spell, gets plus two, plus O, oh, and unblockable. So it gives... Yeah, we're going to need the Knight here. Mm -hmm. So I can start attacking. That's what we have to do. We have to jump here. Yeah, hope we can just make some play the Legionnaire. Store. Yeah. So our position went from awesome to pretty bad. Aetherize is a blowout. Aetherize yeah. is too good. Aetherize is like better than sleep. Pretty good. 
Hey, system, get in. He still has to pump. Tap his mana. So, there's that. Mm -hmm. And then tap and then tap. Gate gets plus two, plus two. Pretty good. We have. That's pretty good. Yeah. We need that. <laughs> Why are you playing that? There's our smite. smite. Yeah. So now I think we. So this is awkward. Because now we kind of tell smite, but whatever. Um... You think it's like misclicked? No. <laughs> it's just whatever. He attacks into it, whatever. So we play Legionnaire. Yeah, we have to. Attack for two. No. No. We don't attack for two because we have to <coughs> jump this. Yes. Awkward. I wish we had a fifth land so we wouldn't be showing Smite. We would just be showing Extorting, having a one man open. Yeah, but I'm glad we drew Smite. Yeah. We should have drawn it several turns ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we drew it. Still have a chance now. A bit not a very good one. I guess these trades, so maybe we should block here. And well, it only trades if he doesn't play an attacker. If he doesn't have, oops, we lose. Mm. Eh. Two. Okay. Well. That's four. That's four damage, right? That's five. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's not show him the smite. Nope. All right. Um, so I think our plan here it. should be to hope he mulls to four again, mm -hmm. and or draw more than just a few land. Okay, this seems better. <laughs> yeah. That seems way better than what we were doing before. Yeah. We have land. We have two drops. <laughs> Four drops. That deck doesn't really run very many three drops. Martial Glory. This is much better. <laughs> yeah. I was like pretty free to play the guy's like no <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past me. <laughs> I well, yeah, I saw you forgot to make two one ones earlier. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Well hopefully he'll trade it up. One of our guys. Well not even trade, but Here. Have a free two one. We're gonna play tonight. And I will block. Main phase. Yes, instance. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I can respond to my card. <laughs> right. This is this is a game called Magic the Gathering. Did you really forget you respond to your card? <laughs> I, it just threw me off for some reason. What do you have? Thousand Lashes? That'd be pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, you're going to attack first? No. Thousand Lashes. Yep. Pretty good. Whatever. Oh, we're in our team, right? Oh, yeah. Draw box sometime. And extort. Take your two and kill your dude. He has still six cards. Who do you take one damage from? Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> card's pretty good. Like, we should get 21. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, that thousand lashes is a jerk. Is that thing? Yeah, that thing. What is that thing? It's a corpse blockade. Oh. Well, the starting next turn will be able to block, so. Yep. 
We don't swing here, right? No. I don't think so. Star triggers, yeah. Mm, your turn. F6. <laughs> so all we have to do is play 10 spells. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 5. What do you have? 6 2. How do I feel about that? I feel like. I feel like flying for 2 and that he can't block is a good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because if we attack, can't block. We still trade this, and he takes four. Maybe. Maybe he trades here, too. Buying him for two seems fine. Then we can trade something if we need to. I don't think we trade our knight. No. Probably this. Because by playing two spells, if we draw two spells, we increase the clock. But we're definitely on our heels here. It's not bad. We can't activate it yet. Also not bad. That he can't activate. No, he can't. The man to it right now. Oh, you're right. Because he still can't <laughs> activate that. So, is he attacking for three? Okay. How do we want to block? This here? Yeah, I'm just taking it to 6 2. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, it's still 6 2, right? Yeah. Yeah, take it 6 2. Because this is just. Back after kills on the floor. That's pretty good. Yep. Pretty good. Yeah. So takes five. Goes to two. Plays two spells. And then we've got one card. Can't play two spells. He has one card? Yeah. Well, I hope it's not Aetherize. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Hello? Yeah, we just put him at one. Nope. Oh, no, he already. Not Aetherize, because he tapped his blue mana. Mm-hmm. I think he's just trying to see if he can do 15 here. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> I think we eat it? He's tapped out, right? That would be tapped out. Yeah, I think we just eat the 8 damage. I agree. And then win the game. Yeah. By n not missing <laughs> our attack. <laughs> Alright, sweet. 8 packs and a QP? 8 packs and a QP. I think that makes 8 QPs for me. How many do you need? Let's take a look. That's That's awesome that I won the tournament. I like that. But let's see collection. Let's see how many QPs I have. You need 15. So, uh... Nope. All the way to the bottom. Oh. What? This is season three. Oh, you're one now? Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> what, what do you have, like two weeks? <laughs> Gosh. I was. I started out with like six from the first weekend, I got six, and I have to, man, I'll never, ever get qualified. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Uh, field uh, mage. 